playthrough is sponsored by game toppers game toppers are perfect if you want to deluxify the most important things in your life like board games obviously we were all thinking about board games hello fellow gamers welcome to board game battle with glory hound and dr professor admiral glory hog how does your title keep on getting longer does it get any longer <laughs> Just Dr. I feel like Gorehouse we need to say. shorten that up a little bit. I'd also like just, just call me the doctor to thank Battle Cry for being like, right, you're playing She's being playing a witch. super angry in battle. And what? I thought it was playing being super angry, not playing being a witch. Hold on, do we need to pause for a break for slaps? No, <laughs> I think it's fine. Did we need a slap break in the middle of this? <laughs> We just started. We're, is this supposed to be a cooperative, cooperative. game? It is cooperative. <laughs> I will cooperate with Battle Cry's assessment that she's a witch. She's a witch. <laughs> That's fine. And hello to everybody in chat today. Including Nemesis, where it's like That's 11, right. It's like 11 p.m. where they're at, something we, like that. We appreciate the publisher and designers, anybody showing up today. 
that can because they are in a different country. So we really, really appreciate that, okay? And Super it looks nice like to talk we, to you. Oh, we've got Cornelius back. That's right. And we have Battle Cry in chat today. We have Steve. Steve. And who else? We said Paul. Powell. Yeah, Paul. Powell. Paul. Just, just roll oh. with it. There's going to be all <laughs> kinds of name pronunciations just not going well. I'm just saying that we are not the best at pronunciating, pronouncing, pronouncing names. Pronunciating. So. That's the thing. The synergy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. synergy you got to work with us, everyone. <laughs> All right, today we are playing Uprising Curse of the Last Emperor. This is by Nemesis Games. It should be for about one to four players. It is a cooperative game. We're going to take you down to the table as Dr. Glory Hog tells us a little bit about everything. Yeah, so a very small bit about it because, yeah, have, faces, have fun saying Jeruhen. 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 I'll try to say like in a German accent, and maybe that'll work. I did like <laughs> I did a week of Duolingo to learn German, so that, that totally worked out it's for you. Totally it's gonna totally work. Definitely, definitely. I don't have the ear for accents. That's just <laughs> not, not a thing. We're the pronunciators. The pronunciators. So this has a really rich backstory, right? Because this was somebody's RPG oh, homebrew yeah. campaign. Yeah. So there's a lot. I cannot do justice to it. I will essentially say this: Lich happened. Somebody, made, <laughs> the emperor was made into a lich. And Hello, you know how it fire. is when you're undying, you start to feel pretty godlike, right? So you go around and you destroy other people so they don't rise up and become godlike, right? You subjugate the land, you do the whole I'm a god thing, right? Some stuff happened. It didn't go well. Portals happened, <laughs> massive amounts of energies. Essentially, this whole planet, this whole world is dead. Like, everything is dead. There's just no resources. And the curse of the last emperor has spread all the way out across the land, but didn't quite make it to this little backwater island, right? The island of like Azul, right? And so this was like the last bastion of humanity. This is the last place where things can still grow technically. And essentially what you have here is you've got a battle of forces. So all of the, the, the heroes are basically the only people that are left. And up until this point, we were not friends with each other, but at this point in time, it's feast or famine. We have to either fight back we have to either fight back the Imperial Legion and the Chaos Hordes or die. And then the Chaos Hordes are just these chaos creatures. They don't care about anything. They just want to destroy and curse the land. They don't, they don't like the living. And then you've got the Imperial Legion, which is what's left of them, trying to build a stronghold here in the middle of this last living city so they can continue to rule, right? So you've got the Imperial Legion. You've got the Chaos Horde. You've got our two tribes. Everybody's fighting each other, except we won't fight each other. But we're also not, like, cool enough to hang out in the same square either. <laughs> I'd That's be like, very should true. you be fighting over there? And I'd be like, you got this. You, you do it. You do your thing. You get them. And then whenever they come over there, you're like, uh, and just a little, a little and the setup space. is very variable. You can, you can add skeletons, add curses, take away curses, add garrisons, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I will say it's hard. Mm. We played it earlier today, and it did not go well. So I, hopefully I've learned some lessons about that playthrough. <laughs> And just as so that everybody remembers the general idea of the channel is this is a playthrough. It's not a how to play. John Gets Games did a how to play. This is a should you play this? Is this something exciting? Is this something you want to back and play? Is this something you want to have on your table? And by the way, it takes up our table. It yeah. is. The play mat is the width of our whole table. This game is gigantic. Truly, like. I was not expecting the vastness of everything. Oh my gosh, man down, man down. <laughs> I I didn't expect this to be this big, honestly, because the cards are like giant tarot sized cards and stuff. Like these things are huge. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This makes everything really seem like such an epic feel to the campaign, right? And of course, this is a prototype. So these yes. are our prototype <laughs> stand in things. Although, for a prototype, it looks pretty solid. Oh, absolutely. Like, so, art is definitely there. Also, just as a note for the giganticness of the game board and everything, a lot of this is also off-camera still. Like, we still have a portion of this on this side here that is off-camera that is like, let me see if I can get in there, that is something we're going to go down that kind of goes through. And a whole other section just as big on the other side, which yes. holds the Imperial Legion, the Chaos Hordes, <laughs> The graveyards, all of that stuff. So, like, there's a place for everything on this play mat here where you can place everything down, but we have not been able to show all of that with our camera and our setting and everything. We have the most important part, this terrain area here in the middle for all of you, okay? Yeah, when we say large, I mean, this table is a 3 by 5 right? And so this game topper is a 3 by 5 so it's five across. Right. But it's not three 
feet deep. So there no. is room. No. It's yeah. definitely manageable, but in our circumstances with our camera only being able to be so high, we can only show you as we're showing you as much of the board as we possibly can, but there is more board. It is definitely five feet across with the play mat, which you do not have to play with, but I mean they sent us a play mat. So you gotta we're play with the play mat, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, the first thing we're going to do is reveal this druid card right here. We're also going to use a little squeaky toy underneath there for all of your guys' hearing pleasure, okay? And these are our different resources here. We've got our general plunder, which are our red tokens. We've got our food, which are these green tokens. And then these are the things that are important in this world anymore. Money is no longer important. The most important things in this frozen wasteland is salt. Because you can, then you can actually like freeze dry your food and everything and preserve it. So salt is the new currency. So we've got salt, plunder, and food. So right now we have a druid power here. So if we roll the little lightning bolt on any dice, we're going to get a special ability that we can use, which is place your cheapest unit in resources from the reserve here, which is really nice. You can go ahead and get extra people out on the, on the board. So explain to me who <coughs> your witch is. Oh, okay. So you get to pick a hero, right? And every tribe has two heroes. Yeah, this is Sindira, the witch. And it says, when Sindira's pack was ambushed and murdered for their trade goods, she disappeared into the woods and became one with the land. So she's like a tree witch. Well, I, I think all witches kind of like chill out in the forest and like cause a ruckus. I and mean, there's no witches in Arizona that's like then. No Baba forest. Yaga was like a witch and she had like a little chicken a chicken house in the forest okay <laughs> gotcha. and i am playing as kahal the destroyer who is a krolf pit fighter hello peter kahal grew up as a slave child in the undercity of norgard and was gained a notorious reputation as a gang leader and gladiator he's free now and he is ready to kick butt all right so going through the refresh phase this is doesn't apply to uh, us right now like fully because we are beginning the game here but we would flip all face down cards face up, we would re regain our action points, which are these lovely little looking gems like these right here. Deal three new items. So we gotta put those out. These are gonna be available for you to purchase from the market here. <coughs> which is we, all laid out on the actual playmat itself. We deal three new quests here. So I'm gonna put these guys out here and we'll go over these whenever we're actually ready to do them. Never. We're going to pass the first player token, which I think Dr. Glory Hogg said that he was going to start. Now we're going to add two threat to all Legion and Horde in play. We don't have any Legion or Horde out just yet, so we will do that on our next turn here. And then we're going to go ahead and draw and read our level one event. Dr. Glory Hogg, please start us <clears> off. <throat> So we start off, and remember, and this hello, is Christian. the easiest it gets. It just gets harder yeah, after this. Yeah, it just gets harder. This is not an easy game, <laughs> like, on you. <laughs> Exiles from the south. Many refugees are coming across the frozen waste in the north, now called the Screaming Seas. They offer everything they have left for your shelter and protection. Each player gains one item from the market, even if they cannot normally use it. Oh, well, that's nice. So you want to start taking a look at that? And then we also have... Amongst them are many that report horrible things they saw in the destroyed mainland they left behind. Place one horde threat at level four and another horde threat at level four at the fog grave. So we have mm. the blood worm. We're already starting out with a whole bunch of stuff out on the board. Let's do this. So the blood worm is going to be in the screaming sea. So I will let you decide where you want this one. It's got to be in the screaming sea. It can't be next to your haven. This is like our starting tiles, right? Our home base. So it can't be directly next to you. So we can go here. Yeah. We can go over here. Oh. You can go over here if you wanted to. What are you thinking? Where do you where do you where would you like your blood worm? I'm not a big fan of this blood worm. He does not look like he's very happy. I guess I'm not happy either, so maybe mm. we could have a stare off together. You're a witch. <laughs> I'm gonna put put the I'm gonna put the blood worm over here, I think. Alright, and immediately once we reveal him, we put an extra curse out. So Anywhere where there's not already an X. So you can't do it in any of the Howling areas out here because these all have Xs. So it's got to be on one of these, basically one of these unexplored tiles. We'll put it right here, I think. All right. So you're going to make it harder to get food. Okay. And then we have the Coven. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> and for the Coven, each player places one unused activation token and puts it on this card. So we just straight up get one of our activations taken away for the round? Until we are able to defeat. We only have eight of those. Now we have seven. Hold on. Where's this guy at? This guy is going to be This guy in needs the to be fog. murderized. He's going to be in the fog he grave. straight up took away one of my actions. So he can go anywhere, like along here, basically, on, along this side. 
I'll put him as close as I can to us, well, to me, because my clans are mighty, and we will give it a shot. You're going to go over there and smack uh, around yeah, for taking I'd, stuff? I would. Hey, I only get eight I actions. Would. I would like all eight of them, please. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Dang these exiles bringing their monsters with them. So that was the resolving of our event card right there. Yes. Now, as far as items here, I really like this one. We have the dragon fruits, which you gain five food. food. Every other player gains two food, and then you discard this. This one's really nice. These, this is an after combat one, so place one of your basic units destroyed here on any of your havens. That's really nice. That is really good. I'm kind of leaning towards that one, actually. And then discard this on your turn. All your dice... No, oh, turn all your dice to any side you want roll in a roll outside, outside of combat. That would be really so good like if questing. there's like some of these quests out here that you want. Yeah. I will take straight up the dragon fruit if that's okay with you. I thought you. you would probably want to do that. I'm hungry. <laughs> the sensor of shadows is like such like a freaking awesome name. <laughs> You're like, it's like incense, and you're like swirling around the shadows. I think I'm going to take so that one. So it says one. that every other player gains two, and this is I discard this. What if I just don't give you two, then I just keep the card forever? How dare you. <laughs> just for sentimental reasons. How dare you. All right, I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Oh, is that it? The Coven has the special ability of always showing up on Chapter 1. I'll tell you <laughs> what. The Coven <laughs> is bad. I think this Blood Worm is going to be an, an issue, too, though. The Blood Worm, I'm not a fan of either. But, yeah, having the Coven is not cool. Like, taking away that... We only have eight actions, and taking away one of those, because, I mean, it's not really that many actions for each chapter. Like, it's not good. All right, so first player draws and reads the event. We did that. Place one activation token on every Horde and Legion card. And then we get to our build phase. We draw two feats from our feet deck, which is this little deck of cards right here. I'm going to draw two of these. Which each hero has their own. That's right. And I'm going to pick one of these that's going to give me some special abilities that I can use throughout the game. I'm going to take leadership. I'm going to gain an extra leadership, so that gives me three might and two leadership die. And I gain any three resources immediately. So what do I want to try to build here first? So for me, it's really hard to build a haven. So... I'm going to take this Archery Clash one because I really want to start wrecking some people on this. I feel like last time I had a very bad exchange <laughs> of, like, fighting and stuff. So I really, really want to be able to do that this turn or this time around. So we did that. Now we build any units, towers, or walls from the reserve, which, as you can see on my player board right here, it shows you the price of all the units, and it might be actually a little dark right here for all of you. Let me take these off and see if that makes a difference. But each of my units is going to have a different cost that I can go ahead and purchase, as well as my haven here, I can purchase walls and defense, or walls and then uh, towers as defense. If anybody is invading that, then I'm going to have extra dice that I can roll on there. But I really think that the units are going to be really important. So I'm just going to get a resource of each type for that ability. The other big thing about combat is in this is like you want to have a really good amount of archers because your archers fire first and sometimes you can take out some people ahead of time. So how do I want to do this? I have three here I that I can do for an archer. I'm just going all in on wow. wargs. Wow, oh my gosh. I like wargs because they're fast and let's just be honest, they're on wolves. They're cool. They're just cool. I don't need anything else. I just need wargs in my life. <laughs> You just need wargs in your life, huh? Yeah. I think I'm going to do wargs and then like... So I'm going to actually take... I was going to take salt or food instead for those extra ones. And so then I will build two wargs and then just straight up two tribesmen. They like, don't even have names. I just call them tribesmen one and tribesmen two. I don't have the sort of resources that I want to make what I want happen. So I can take like three of these people and pay for those. I like how this game knows that you're going to build every action because, I mean, I mean every round anyways, right? Because everyone's going to have to build their forces. So they're just like, yeah, build. You just do that. You don't have to spend a, you don't have to waste your activations on that. I really want archers really bad. This is not good. I just, oh. Uh. All right, I'm going to have to start out, like, really, really slow with this, I think. 
because I'm going to take two infantry here, I'm gonna, and I'm going to pay for one archer as well, because I feel like they're really important. But I just want more people. I just want more people. What'd you end up going with? I went with two, like, sort of, two sword sisters and then one son of the bow. Okay. I went two wargs and two tribesmen. But that's because I got extra resources because of my leadership card. Otherwise, I would not have been able to do that. that I think that's where I'm going to start. Okay. You so, ready for Dr. This? Glory Hog, go ahead and start your action phase. I'm going to straight up start off with a command. Now, so, I'm going to select this tile here so I can bring any troops I have that are adjacent to this specific tile to this tile, up to five. And your hero doesn't count as one. So, I'm doing that to move all these people here. And Wait, of course, I think I actually have to be explored. If anybody has ah, any questions in chat, go ahead and leave them for us. We'll go ahead and go through things that we're doing specifically in the game for you, or if you want to see a certain tile or a certain card that we're using, we'll show you directly under the camera so you can ask questions in real time, and you'll hopefully get your answers in real time too. The hall got too excited. Can't do that. I have to first spend a move action to move my hero here, and then explore it with a second action which would end my turn after this. And I've got Gold Guardian. Gain two food, which that is nice. I always get too excited. I want to just start moving troops <laughs> around. And then it says, if empty, place two garrisons here. If not, reinforce here. It is empty, so we're going to get two of these lovely garrisons. See, Nemesis Games, they were like, you can you can go to that unexplored hex. I know. Get up in there. <laughs> I know. I could have gone this way, but I wanted to like walk through something. Um, and then it says place two garrisons on empty hexes with nothing with nothing else already on it. I'm gonna place this like so. So these are impassable walls. So I'm leaving this open so I can bring my troops here if I need to. And it's gonna have two garrisons on here. So That's I'm, not good right away. Having no. And then I have to place two there. more garrisons somewhere else. And then it says place two garrisons on empty hexes. So just two more. And these are all gonna get victory points. So. Not great. Do you want to put them by you? Do you think you're going to be able to attack them right away, or...? Yes. I think that you could probably put one... One by you? At least one right next to me that I would be going into. Which way do you think you'd be going? My people are magic heavy, so I'm going to go into this tile and hopefully be able to take that tile. You're not going to go for that blood worm? Not, well, I'm, I'm going to come and circle back to that blood worm, okay? The blood worm is going to go towards me, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm going right. to circle back. I'm going to do that. All right, so I did that. So. First action I did is I moved, which does not end my turn, and but then the explore action does end my turn. So I resolved it. I decided which orientation I wanted to put it. I left it here with these impassable barriers, and we are good to go. And it's actually, what terrain type is that? That's the Badlands. So rider units add, oh, they add their die in the archery phase. That's actually good for me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go <laughs> move to this tile. Listen, and... it's our live show. We can do what we want. <laughs> Now, this character flies into the middle of the mountain, <laughs> does three fireballs. No, it's just you feel the real crunch of, like, not having enough activation. So you're like, I just want to get over there and start fighting, and you just can't. Like, I'm too excited. I'm like, let's get this fight happening. So I'm going to gain three magic, or I'm sorry, three salt. I keep on wanting to call it magic, but three salt. Uh, if empty, place two skeletons here. If not, reinforce here. Ooh. So place one skeleton with other skeletons. <laughs> place one activation token on Legion or Horde. Oh, that's like so much bad. All right. So, so much bad. first off, it is two empty skeletons. because your hero does not count as well, a Well, and there's a garrison there too. So they're going to fight, 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 uh, fight. Actually, yeah, that would happen. And then this skeleton has to go somewhere else where there's already a skeleton, which we have over here. And we don't want there to be three because then they upgrade into one of these Horde cards here and become one of the standees, uh, like a blood worm or something. You definitely don't want to have a couple skeletons have a party, and then all of a sudden a blood worm happens. <laughs> I don't know what kind of party that is, but you do not want that. And then one activation token on a legion or right. a horde card with the least tokens. So you can choose the blood worm or the coven. Oh. Depends on if you have faith that I can take out the coven or not. I have faith that you're going to take out the coven, I Dr. Glory Hog. I knew you were going to go that route. <laughs> I knew you were going to go that route. I have so much route. faith in you. You have way more faith than I do. All right, now these skeletons and the garrison are going to battle it out here, right? because right? that's the really unique thing. The, the Chaos Horde is just about destroying life, and the Legion, like, wants to control life, so they're at odds, actually, so they would fight each other. And, and your hero's just over there, like, watching, like, casually, like, <laughs> being like, what? Look at that. Oh, actually, he said you reinforced because there was a garrison, so. Oh. I said, 
If empty places skeletons here, if not reinforced here. That okay, is correct. apologies. So let's go ahead and put a garrison there. No, I really wanted them to fight. Uh, Dang it, Nemesis Games. I really wanted them to fight really bad. I just wanted to see them break out. <laughs> but the rest is fine because we did still have to place oh, another skeleton. So yeah, it's, it's not that, that is easy. not as good. That Come is on. not as good for me. I'm not happy about Come that. Come on, Glory Hound. You're fact, better you know than what? this. You know what? Stop trying to cheat. I'm out. I'm out. I'm trying leaving to this make area. it easier. <laughs> so yeah, see? That was my move. I moved and then I explored. So it is your turn, Dr. You're Glory not allowed Hound. to read cards anymore or tiles. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that is fair. All right, so I can select here now for my command, which is going to cost me a food to do so. So I'm going to spend one food. I'm going to command here. I'm going to bring these troops over here. So now we will fight because we've got wargs and we've got tribesmen, and they're all hanging out with this you garrison. You are far better set up for this battle than me. I'm not happy that there's a double garrison here. All right, so we're in the Badlands. So the rider units get to add their dice to the archery phase. So go through the phases for me. You've got the phases. So we do archery. For, oh, we do pre-combat. Yeah, so you want to look at all your feats and everything. Mm -hmm. You want to see if there's anything that you're going to be adding. Okay, I then, don't have pre-combat. Then you're going to go ahead and check terrain, which we already checked, right? You're going right. to be adding the dice there. Then you're going to be going into the archery portion here. and. So this is unique because I do have this archery card here that says wargs. If you have two plus wargs here, you gain an orange die. So for the die, oh, you moved the die over there. I was like, where are all the die at? <laughs> so I'm going to get an orange die for that. And then it, since I am actually... In the Badlands, the wargs are able to kind of like roam around on their wargs all super fast. They can actually get involved early. So normally I wouldn't actually get to use them, but they get to use a red die. So I would get two red dies also. I don't have any other archers. And you don't have any other archers. Okay. No, because the wargs aren't even archers. So I've got two red die for my warg plus the orange because I'm in the Badlands. And then the garrison is going to have two white. Two white die to roll against me. There you go. Should I roll these ones? Yeah. I always, I always like... Roll really well against me. <laughs> I was roll really, oh, really well against our. I got magic oh. and I got um, so I got one of the lightning oh, bolts. Oh, good for you! And a hit. So they're gonna block one, one of these, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other one would go through, which would do one damage, and I could do this lightning, which I I never gotten excited enough to get to use lightning. So the, place your cheapest unit in resources from the reserve here. So that would be another tribesman. I'm going to take the top part off of your garrison yeah. here since you went ahead and destroyed them. So they don't do any damage back to me, but they did block one. They only got one damage done. So that was the archery. For four damage once per round. Nice. Now you're going to go into your clash. clash. Right. I don't get to keep that. Which here now but this I'm maxed has out been downgraded, so it's just one blue and I say just. It's just one blue and one white die. Okay. It's totally fine. And so I don't have totally this fine. orange die anymore because that was a special ability. So I've got my two wargs are going to be two red die. And then I've got three tribes, which they all have an orange die. Which, whenever you're looking at what sort of dice you're going to be using for everything, they're actually, they're on the standees. Which is so, great. Or they're just on your player mat here. So if you have any questions, you can like directly reference those. One, two, three, four, five hits. No defense though. We don't care. We'll just take it on the chin, I guess. There you go. We got one defense. So good. They block one, but that's three. That's definitely enough for overkill. You so many skulls. Don't what the talk heck? about my skulls that way. <laughs> so this garrison is def defeated. So I defeated two levels of garrison, so I believe that's two victory points. All right. So we'll see here. One, two. And that's good. We need those out of there because at the end of this, as we go through all of our actions and everything, they're going to get victory points for what they have out on the board. So it's really important to be attacking stuff that's out on the board and getting it off here. Right. And that was, since I did the command action to start that fight, that was the end of my turn. Mm. So man, I've already spent three out of my seven actions. I feel like I'm gonna have to do the same, but I do not have as great of, as, of odds as you do. Yeah, and you're rolling against me. I'm the bad guy. I know. If your enemy has more units, that does not help me. Okay, I'm seeing what sort of cool stuff I have that's going to help me. I, I can gain a shield. I don't have any Beastmasters out yet. Yeah, let me give you this because I should have given you this already. I don't just hang on to this card forever. <laughs> that's after combat. Should I go for the garrison or should I like food. look around? I don't think looking around is going to be helpful though. Give me all my foods. I don't know. I feel it's, really bad. Some, I mean, exploring can be good or be bad, good. right? You don't know. That's the whole good. point of exploring. Sometimes you just got to explore and see what happens. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, maybe there's something like 
over here that I'll be able to get that will be better. You need to look at the market? Yeah, let me see. So this, pay two resources and then gain one of the little lightning bolts here. That's okay. Oh, that's pretty good. It's okay. Do you have enough leadership for that? No. Because you have to have a leadership of three to buy that one. No, I don't. I have Guile. But that's just going to be an all over. Discard this to turn all your dice to any side you want, but that's outside of combat. But you can use it for a quest. Well, that's true. So it means next time you go on the quest, you could potentially... You know, I think I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to go to the market. Well. Okay. And how right much salt? Here. Uh, yeah, how much salt? Three? Three. So market, gain one item, and then pay it salt. I'm paying the three. Oh, don't forget to pillage. Do I get something for defeating this? I don't we don't how... remember what the pillage is. I don't remember what pillage is. I don't remember that part of it. Plundering, oh. pillaging? Not right. sure. Let us know. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and use that for the market. Go ahead and do it your turn. Oh, okay. Well, no, I, that was my turn. That was my action. That was your whole turn? And that was my action. I don't remember the plunder, but it would make sense if you took over an area that you'd probably get to plunder it. All right, so... We'll worry about that later. Oh, so it says it should be one of your starting feedstocks. Oh, oh! <laughs> After combat, if you have one plus <laughs> units here, if you have one plus units here, gain two resources on your hero's hex. So my hero is there, and I definitely have more than one plus units. So yeah, I should have gotten two. I should get two resources. You're for that. shorting yourself resources. No, I don't want to, because it takes me more to do some stuff. I don't have like any salt. Like, is it you want to, to get salt then? I don't know, but like sometimes. It takes me three just to put drop down. Give me... No, I'm going to take actual... I'm going to actually take this instead. Okay. I don't need any stinking salt. I'm not buying anything. So I went to the market. It's your turn. Actually, I do need salt. I like it. <laughs> I want to get that troll. I want the troll later. So I'm getting some salt. All right. All right. So for my action, I think I'm going to drop a haven. So there's no curse. There's no more enemies. There's no red X here, so I'm allowed to. Oh my god. Which gosh. is gonna give you good stuff. Like later. Later, yeah. I think it's worth it too, because it unlocks more here too. As long as you drop it and the coven person doesn't come right in there and just wreck your place. Cause then you just like wasted all those resources for building it. That's right. Apologies, everyone. Kitty's here. Very demanding. <laughs> All right, so since it's explored unit, right, with no other forces there besides my own, I go to drop one of my havens there, which is just going to mean I'm going to get more resources later. I'm going to get more food and more plunder and everything else. All right, so that's my action. I did the, uh, I dropped the haven. All right, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and possibly do a quest here because if I can flip all of my dice, I feel like that's worth it. So this one here, what is this one going to do? This one's going to gain one for every skull rolled in this way. You're going to go hunt mammoth. This one here, choose a hex with a curse. Pay five resources to remove that curse. Ooh, that's kind of good. This one here gives me a rider unit, though, on that one. That's good. Take this card in combat. On marsh hexes, I gain one in clash. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and try for this one. And Yeah, the rider unit's good. I love wargs. If you give me the option to have anybody on top of a wolf that rides around or a pig, I'm all in on that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and in. take these dice here. Syndra the witch. Oh, you're using some manipulation. That makes sense. <laughs> and then you have to choose either the orange or the white die. Which... I'm going to call people a witch. <laughs> you can see the breakdown right here. I think... Okay, so I have a bunch of purple die. I want... I'm not even going to be able to get the right shields that I want for this. That's the problem. <laughs> no. Because I need, like, another white die. Oh, to get enough shields that you want? And you don't have anything else that gives you any other die. Nope, you're not cool like me. Mm. Mm. That is awkward. But if you get one, you still solve it, and you're going to gain a whole bunch of food. Or you could leave it and do a different quest, and I can come after that one or something. That's not yeah. going to be as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm super upset. Because I wanted, I wanted more riders out. You can't have more riders out. Those are my riders. I want to fight the coven. Get your business going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
seeing where the marshlands are. All right, I think I'm just gonna go in there and try to fight. Never right. mind, backing up, backing up. We're not doing a quest. We're just gonna go ahead and command. We're gonna bring these people in here. We're gonna okay. see what happens. Okay, so you got level two garrison. So do you have any before combat stuff you're gonna do? I do not. I don't feel like this is the smartest move. <laughs> I'll roll the white die for. I don't feel like two. this is gonna go well for me. I can feel it. What die do you need? I don't want that cat. There we go. Okay. Just yeet her. Just whoosh. no. You don't yeet a cat out of here, okay? Yeet her. <sighs> All right. Do you have anything during your archery phase? I do have one archer. I have well, one I'm archer. Do you have any cards that work during your archery phase? Because like I have the wargs. If my enemy has more units or threat here, then I would gain one blue mm. die, but I don't have. I okay. have more. I'll just kill something round trip. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so roll your die. What do you got that? You got two Ooh. blanks. All right, so you did yes. hit. So you got yes. one down in the archery yes. phase. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. So I'll hold on oh to remember. You guys don't even understand how excited I am about that. Then we go to phase two. <laughs> now it's only a white and a blue. Oh, you don't even you don't even know how excited I am by what just happened. Clash. Oh, that's not as exciting. I got a shield. That's not as so exciting. Just fought, but we just do it again. Okay. So we're gonna go through the archery phase or no, not this no, I'm sorry, again. just clash again. Apologies. No. There you go. Two shields and a hit. Dr. Glory Hog. Come Perfect. on. Alright, so I block your hit, but you don't block my hit, so you lose I'm a unit. Take somebody out. You Dr. Lose Glory Hog. It's, it's not my fault. My archer's gonna have to go. It's not my fault you can't assail this garrison. That's on you. Like, you should fight better, I guess. <laughs> There's one. Why is this garrison so tough? <laughs> well, you defeat it, but you take another, da you you take another damage. <sighs> oh, okay. I think I have a card for this. Okay. So you're gonna get two victory points because you defeated two levels of garrison. So, I will place one, I have this card here, so my Sensor of Shadows that I did pick up whenever we were in the market here, right. okay, which there should be one more card in that market, and I get to place one of my basic units destroyed here on my Haven, which I'm going to go ahead and place so my an archer. archer or a warrior. Okay. I'm going to place my archer, and then this one here goes into the graveyard of the Imperial. Oh, yeah. Imperial Graveyard, which is not going to be good later on, but I'll give them there's points. only so much you can do, okay? I don't know. I didn't have any of those options. But those those things happened to me. Okay, and then I think that is all. That's all I got. But I did take over the area, so that's good, right? I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> that's right, I'm doing this. I'm listen, going... listen. Great. <laughs> all right, I'm going for... The odds were stacked against me, I feel like, and I feel like I came out of that one really well, okay? Sure. <laughs> All right, I'm going after the coven. So I am yeah, going to command. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to spend some food to move everybody. I guess I just wave like a chicken strip in front of them. I'm like, yeah. come on, guys. No, it's mammoth, so it's definitely much bigger than a chicken strip. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move everybody over here. So I'm commanding to this space here, which allows me to move up to five troops and or my hero. So I'm going to do so. Get up in there. Oh, God. Everybody get up in there. Okay, everybody's in there. Because I want this guy gone. So let's go to... I don't have any before combat. I have an after combat and I have an archery. So for archery, we happen to be here, which is no effect for the land type. So there's nothing going on there. But for archery, I get to add... Um, I get to add an orange die because my wargs are there. And they're just like... I don't know. They're like ready Why to fight. Why are your wargs so cool? They're just cool. And you want... I'll move this over here. Since you're going to be controlling this character, I'll give you the coven. Like the sweetest And what part. I'm going to be rolling? Yeah. This is... Because you're doing archery, so you're rolling two orange die against my one orange die. Rough. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of die. Like, but we need to kill it. I want my I action a... back. All right, so I lose fall. one, but you lose one. And this is for the chaos. Okay, so he goes away. But you lost one, so that's better. I mean, it gets better. So now we go into clash. So for Clash, I still have two wargs, so I get two red die. And then we're going to get one purple, two blue. And I've got two tribesmen, so that's two orange die. One purple, two blue, one white. Come on. 
<laughs> they can do sweet jumps, if only. Kill the coven? You know, that's how the ward get in there. They do really sweet jumps up in there. You see that? That's four hits. That's four. Oh my god. No. I will match your four hits with four hits. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ouch. So I did defeat the coven. You did. That's all I needed. The coven dies. I lose all of my leftover troops oh. into the chaos graveyard. But I took out the coven. You took them so out. The coven says, when destroyed, gain four victory. So if you want to move me up four, and then every player gains back their activation. So I just got us an extra turn. Plus, we put two of the activation tokens on the coven, so they were going to get to act twice next turn. Where are you keeping them? Right here? Yeah, right there. So that's good. That, like, that is still good. But yeah, Overall, my troops but are white. At this point, you don't have any more troops. Well, I won't be doing troopy things, I guess. <laughs> But this is gone now. Maybe so like this this character's no, gone. No, no, that's so, really good. I mean, if, since we're playing like, super, player, super good, if we defeated all five of the chaos wards. They just gain a victory point instead of spawning a new guy, which I'm actually kind of okay with that. Absolutely, bravo! So, bravo, Doc. You... <laughs> I did it. I did it. it you only did a really good job, but everything. I know it only cost you all the things, but. I mean, oh, and so then I would do my pillage, which does not go into effect, because it says if you have one plus units here, gain two resources, but he does not count as a unit, so that's I do right. not get that. That's right. But I remembered it at the time when I couldn't <laughs> use it. <laughs> I so just this is cooperative. This. It is. So, Bill, what's unique about this is, so I'm playing my turn, she's playing her turn, the Horde has their own turn, and like the Legion has their own turn, and everybody has their own marker, so it's cooperative. But her and I have to both score more victory points than the Horde and the Legion. So it makes it really unique. So like I still have to really play my character, but she can definitely help out in some ways. And she has to play her character, so I'm not trying to play her character for her. But then we also still have to beat two other characters, basically, that are being played. Well, and we also and they still fight each other too. have to stay separate because we can't occupy the same hexes as right. each other either. So it's you... not like we can combine forces. We can try to work on the same things together. However, we can't like both put all of our forces in there at the right. same time. Right, and this or game is set up for like small skirmishes too, so it's only mm -hmm. like five units in a hex. You can't get like these huge like 20, 20 things in there or anything like that. So for a four X game, it's weird to be running around like exploring and exploiting and all that kind of stuff, but like also working together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and place a Which haven you need here. To. The game was hard enough, I think. I'm gonna spend my two. You can make this game very difficult. And I'm. Place a haven out here, which the more havens that you get on the out on the board, the more resources you're going to have coming in. Yeah. Not only because whenever you take one of the havens off of here, you're going to get an abundance of resources based upon what is missing from here, but also any havens that you have out on, uh, out on the board, you are going to get the resources of these tiles here as you go along, right? All right, so that was my turn. I went ahead and made a haven. Gosh, I think I want to... This one will straight up get you... One of your riders. If I get two shields, though, but I'm rolling mostly red die. I mean, I'm rolling red die and a blue, and two blue die. So what does the red die give me? There's only like there's no shield option on the red die at all, and the blue die does have a shield option, but it's only like two out of six. Hmm. But on the plus side, I don't have any units in place. So if I fail that, I lose nothing. <laughs> and then if your hero's on the Badlands, Hex get a plus one. So I can go to the Badlands for it. Yeah, it's frozen water. Um, should I go up? Do you think I should go check this out? I kind of want to see what's going on there. Oh, there's like a fine line between revealing stuff and putting out more stuff. Like... Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna explore it. Let's see what happens. I don't know okay. what the sea towers do. Units and heroes here are adjacent to any hex. If your hero is here, pay one less salt for items on the market. That's good. It says gain okay. two salt, remove oh any skeletons here, place three garrisons here. Well, that part's less good. The three garrisons part. Okay, but I'm gonna take this two salt. <laughs> That's not going to be good, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> I told you. Listen. Listen. What's cool, though, is it does any hero. So any units and heroes here are adjacent to any hex. So you get to, like, move around however you want if you get in here. Ooh, but it's like my troops can't even get there from that way. They yeah, have you to have come. to. You really have to maneuver this because these little spiky areas here, 
can't move troops through those yeah. edges. So like my hero can. So they they would have to come this way to get in there. Yeah. What you know? That's fine. Place three garrisons here. That's fine. Well, at least you get to see what a cool garrison looks like. <laughs> Right? That's a bonus. Not everybody gets to see a cool garrison. Wow. Oh my gosh. Listen, it was going to happen at some point. It couldn't have but gone better. But it didn't have to happen, Could though. It, have it It's very have easy to, to say that now. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, the Legion is not messing around. I mean, their capital is just right over here. It's not that far away. You had to expect there to be something there. Don't be weird. You had to know that was gonna happen. Oh, it looks so cool though. I know. I really wanted right? to drop like. I'm gonna like turn it like this, so hopefully people are gonna be able to see it when I see it. My hope the was that there would be nothing there, and that I could drop like a haven, right? right but that did not happen. It looks so cool. Stop pointing at me. I'm sorry. It looks so cool. All right, it is your go. <laughs> I was hoping that I could drop a haven there. That's that's what my thought and was. You just really, you were getting greedy, is what you were doing. You were getting resource greedy. We only have this. so many chapters I mean... to win, okay? <laughs> Okay, I think, let's see here. I would like to do a quest, but I can't really do the ones that I want for that. What do the marshes look like? The marshes have like the little green. I don't see any marshes out right now. Mm -mm. Which would be awesome to get this card because it's going to give you a bonus, but only on marshes. So that's not going to be helpful. Oh man. What okay. So, I do have an archery and clash. I mean, me personally, I am the slayer of the coven. I don't know what you've been doing, If but... my enemy has more units or threat there, I'll gain a blue die. So, if I go ahead and actually command over here with, mm -hmm. these, with, with this unit and my hero, I could essentially still be rolling two die. That's pretty risky still, though. I mean, I don't know. I you... wish it just was one skeleton. That, would, no, that wouldn't have helped out, though. Because I still have to be at a disadvantage for that. Right. It's like, how risky do we want to get this game? <laughs> I don't have risky. <laughs> I don't have any more. I only have one more action, so I don't know how risky you want to get. I was thinking that I'm probably going to either do a quest or hit up the market. All right. You know. <coughs> All me. right, let's do a quest. Casual things. Let's I don't do know a what quest. you're doing. The towers tend not to be freebies. Well, that would have been useful information before I went to the tower. The towers what? The towers tend not oh. to be freebies. <laughs> That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, I'm going to choose this one just for the pure fact that marshes, I can... Marshes, marshes, marshes. Choose a hex, and I can pay five resources, and then I can just get rid of a curse, which would be nice because overall, they are not going to get as many VP if they have less curses out. That's and I true. could probably uncurse this one right here, which, which I think be... would be good, yeah. right? Because it is, it's basically taking up one of these Yeah, because we're looking at like three, four, five VP for, for the Legion, and then we're looking at like VP for... For them too, right, so. and I have a card where I can go ahead and clash. Oh dang it, no, let's clash. Flip this to gain one for every one of them. Okay, here we go. After combat, no, where was it? I was like, I just had it. You just? I just had. had it. Here we go. Why are Discard you this to turn all my dice to any side I want in a roll outside of combat. Okay, so I can still try for it first and then see what happens. So I'm going to use the hero card here where I have three magic, one guile, which I think I want this one right here. Now there's some really good items out here too. Like this one which you discarded to get rid of an no, activation token. No, just kidding. Token. I want one of these actually. These rune stones. No, I think it doesn't matter. Hold on. You can gain the lightning bolt. Healing potion. Boy. Okay, so this is good. I actually won two of these because I have the lightning bolt right here. And then I have three skulls, which is this one right here. I only needed to solve one of these here. So I can choose a heck, pay five resources, remove the curse from that. I can, choose, I can a choose a heck. It's gonna be awesome. This heck in space is gone. <laughs> this heck in curse is out of here. Get this the heck out of here. And, and then I get a victory for that. Well, that worked. It's about time you got some victory <laughs> points. Well, and the other good thing is that another quest will come out. Maybe there will be something that really, like, really good there. It's your turn, Dr. Glory Hog. How many? You still have <laughs> the two Marsha, more The Marsha, Marsha, Marshes. Yeah. 
I only got one left now. Well, because I had I moved twice and explored twice, so. Oh, I must be behind. Maybe we skipped one. Go ahead. No, I'm just. I've oh, because you moved. I've been That's using, right. Right. Yeah. Because move is too. free. I was defeating the coven. Okay, it took some oh. actions. Oh, oh, oh. I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but I fought the coven. <laughs> I I pretty much straight up just got a curse off the board. Like I don't see you uncursing anything up in here, Doctor Gloria. <laughs> I don't care about curses. <laughs> I'm just saying, removing a curse from the board is much harder to do. That's all. That's all is I have it? to say. That's all I have to say. Is <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm looking at the quest. So this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I was gonna say you can draw a new quest card with with that one too. Does that mean I get to automatically do that quest? For drawing a new quest. Ooh. I would assume yes. So it says if you're here, but Nemesis Games is in chat and they could tell us yes or no. So it says I get a purple die and then I'll get my three red die. These for my might. Well, hold on, make sure I can. Yeah, three red die for my might, and then I gain two for leadership because I have this leadership card. Quests don't automatically replenish, unlike items. Ah. Ah. Uh, okay. So this stay out whenever it goes. But this is one legion or horde loses two threat, which is good because I would like to reduce this bloodworm down, which because he's going to reset soon anyway. So I need to actually put this on the quest here. He's going to reset and go back up. I prefer him not to be more powerful, right? Like I definitely don't want them to get VP. And if your quests don't replenish, then that's a really important card because you would draw a new quest and then you would be able to put it out in that case. You think Strike at Dawn still the best one to go for? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I can. Hi, Kabuki. How are you doing? I think you can. Oh, you could potentially get over there if you wanted to. Maybe with your guys, if you commanded like, uh, if you commanded here, you go there. And if you commanded there, you'd go there. No, nah, it would be yeah. too hard for you to get there. That's too bad. I still only have two people, and I don't think that's gonna. Uh -huh. uh, it's not going to be really good odds for me. So I rolled overall. all skulls. So that was was that my goal? <laughs> all right. Actually, I got one magic. And then I got way more than four skulls, so I definitely solved it, but I didn't get the bonus. Uh, but it does say I get to go ahead and just says one legion or horde loses two threat and then discard this quest and go ahead and replace it with a new quest. I think it was still a good move overall. So you want to replace it with a new quest, and I'm going to reduce the bloodworm down to two threat instead, which would be pretty easy, right? That reduces how much damage he does and how much damage he can take. Or she could take. I don't know what a bloodworm is. I'm not going to replenish one because we did go ahead and accidentally turn one over. So. Oh, you already did? Yeah. All right, that's fine. So I'm just catching up on your mistakes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is one of those games like, I just want to keep this prototype forever because because <laughs> the more you play, just the more little things you're going to find in it, right? So now that the bloodworm is at a two, trying to get over there would be awesome. However, I would still have to... Get over there and explore, which, okay, so I can move. No, you move. don't have to explore on the bloodworm. No, because I have to go over here. Oh, but you could go here, though, too. Remember, these are explored tiles. So, like, if you, like, said you commanded here, you can move here, and then you can command here and move here, but you still need, like, another command if you were trying to get these people involved. Right, and I only have two actions left. But right. if I do land there, the bloodworm is you. going to come towards me. Right. Which may not necessarily be a bad thing, right? But it will be a four by the time it comes towards you. Because it's going to go up. It says activate legions and hordes once for each activation token on them. Initiate order lowest to highest. Right. So I don't think that they get their stuff until... Oh, after? Like a combat? I believe so. Because it would be, yeah, because in the next event phase is when they're going to get more threats. So it would be worth it to actually pile my people over there just so I can go ahead and possibly take them out. But I'm still at a disadvantage, though. Because that's two red dice to mine. Yeah, it's up to you. You could also just try to explore. You could try to, I mean, you could come in here, bring this person up, and come over here and fight. That's skeleton. still two red dice as well over here, okay? <laughs> right, but the worst case scenario is, well, you actually, yeah, you don't want the chaos to kill you anyways. Because right now, they're going to gain VP off of the different troops they killed. And chaos is already going to get VP for killing my whole army. And then the Imperials are going to gain VP off killing your army. It'd be better if the chaos did not get you too. The threat's just going to go up, though. But it's just going to go back up to where it would have been without me doing anything. It's 100% up to you what you would like to do. 
I'm saying if you could avoid losing troops to the horde, though, you're not giving them extra VP. If you right. lose a troop to the horde, you're giving them two VP. Right. Okay. So, then if I were to explore one of these tiles, I mean... It could be good or bad. Yeah, I don't know. Dr. Glorhog, you're not very helpful right now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can go for it. I mean, go for it. Oh. What's the worst that could happen? What's it would be really good happen? to be able to get towards the capital so I can hopefully, no guts, no glory. Thank you, Battlecry. I there think that go. Battlecry is trying to Just go tank all us. In. Battlecry, are you trying to tank us in this game? <laughs> you talk too much. Just get in there. All right, I'm going to go over there, and I think I'm going to explore. I'm going to come over here. Explore? And explore here. All right, I'll put it for you. Because I want to have direct access over here. All right, we have a stone circle here. I gain two of the plunder, please. If empty, I place two skeletons here. If not, reinforce here. Each player gains one basic unit on a haven or an empty explored hex. So that's actually good. So, but we do get the two skeletons there. So two skeletons. Right, I have the two skeletons right here. It doesn't matter where you place those ones. So there's two skeletons. Each player gains one basic unit on a haven. Or an empty explored hex. Which or an empty explored hex. Like, for example, if you weren't in here, I could have put this here. But mm -hmm. obviously you already are there. I'm going to go ahead and gain... I'm going to gain an archer oh, just because... Unit. That's right. I yeah, just because they're more expensive. Yeah. That's true. <gasps> oh my god, that archer died. Archer down! Archer down! He's fine. He's Doc, fine. that's the correct answer to the question. Nobody knows! <laughs> so, I think that's it. That's all of my actions. That was it. It's Nemesis phase. Activate legions and hordes once for each activation token on them in initiative order from lowest to highest. We only have the one, which is the blood worm. Right. So and they are going to take one activation. To move closer to the capital. That's right. So they're going to move right there. And whenever they move, they actually leave a curse here. Yes. Gosh. That's something like I drilled into my head and then I almost just forgot. <laughs> and then we gain resources based on our total havens. So on my board here, I gain... I'm going to gain one salt. Four salt. One plunder. And four food. I'm over here just hunting mammoths. They're going to go like... Yeah, no kidding. One food and then one... Plunder, and then we're also going to gain the resources based on here for the havens that we have. So, three, three more salt, one food, and one plunder for get me. Three more total food. I got a lot of resources this time, though, which is good. I mean, it feels like a lot. I'm sure until I'll spend you them. spend them all for all your stuff, like next turn, you're like, oh, mer, mer, mer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> salt. okay. So now we go into scoring phase here. Okay. For the empire. They get one victory for every hex with any garrison in it. So that's going to be three victory. Well, is it one victory for just having? Is it per garrison? For every hex with any garrison. Oh, so it's just one then. Doesn't matter if it's three there. For every hex. One, two, three. Right. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to get three for this being out by itself. I so was they're going to go scared. up three there. Then one for every legion in play, which they don't have any legion in, legions in play. And right. then two... For every faction in their graveyard, which it's only the one type of faction, so two more for them. I can't move them. It's too far. One, two. So, just as a note, Dr. Glory Hog, since this is out of camera, Dr. Glory Hog is at six VP, and we both need to be ahead of the bad guys in order to win. Legion's at five. I'm at three, and then we're going to score the horde right now. So, for them, or for chaos, so for every curse in play, they get one. One, two, three. three. So okay. that that puts them right on top of me now. <laughs> one for every horde in play. There's one. And then they get two for every faction in their graveyard. This is me. So they get two. One, so two. now they're tied with me. So now they're tied with you. So I am the furthest behind right now, okay? <laughs> By a lot. By a lot. But, so we return all of the units to the graveyard, or from the graveyard to our reserves, and now we're gonna go ahead and score. So we get two for each of our havens in play. So two, four for me, okay. which at least one, two, three, four. Now I'm at seven, at least I'm above everybody here. What about you, Dr. Glory Hog? four also. So one, two, three, four. So Dr. Glory Hog moved up to 10. I'm at seven. 
So we're, we're all we ahead just, of them. We just, I just literally passed them, okay? So uh, we get any special hexes that we get a victory point off of, which I get one. You get one, I one get one. And you get one. Okay. And then for the end of the game, we can always, what is it? For every five resources we can pay, we can go ahead right. and gain a victory to try to kind of like nudge each other up that last little bit. But this was the first chapter, and we're going to play one more chapter, and then that is going to be the end of the starter or the base game. You can play up to four chapters of this, each right. going down everything that we just went down with this. So, STM, this is not our first time playing it. So, Nemesis Games actually gave us a demo demonstration for about an hour in Tabletop Simulator. And then we played through one chapter this morning just to kind of make sure, to kind of try to kind of settle it down. It's definitely, it's not as complicated as some of the dungeon delving games I've done as far as but what you're doing in it. That's not a bad thing but though. But just like a Spirit Island or Gloomhaven, it's all about your placement and working to the most advantage you can with what you've got. And so I Which, still feel overwhelmed as far as like, am I making the right choices? I don't know. It's very, you just don't 100% know so until you get into it. That's the insanely critical thing about this game is the fact that Every tiny little decision you you make because you only have those eight actions per chapter makes such a big impact on what you're doing in your score. Like when we played this through the first time, oh, I we made up. a lot of really bad decisions. Okay, yeah. <laughs> a lot of really bad decisions. A lot of poor resources that we wasted and stuff. Yeah, and that's true. I feel like we're doing a little bit better job <laughs> this time around. We'll see. <laughs> but. Every single one of your actions really does have to be maximized in order to make sure that you, because I mean, the uh, Imperial and the Chaos Legions are like right on our tail, two points away from me. If even one of us is matching them or behind, we lose the game on this, which I think is really fun. <laughs> We're doing great, well thank you. <laughs> we really appreciate that. Because I am always like, oh my gosh, I'm doing so bad. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reveal this druid card over here. We're starting back at the top. And the really cool thing, too, is we do have this awesome thing that you all cannot see. It is actually the turns and how everything happens through the entire chapter that we go down. And it's step by step. It's perfect. I love it. I don't have to look up anything in the book. It's right on the table. Fantastic, okay? We're going to flip any face-down cards that we had here. We're going to regain our action points, which I'm going to move mine off my board here to regain them. We usually lock up the kitty, but she is causing the biggest ruckus today, everyone. I apologize. <laughs> we deal three new items, so we discard these old ones, which I like the refresh on this here. We need to go. And we're going to draw up three new quests as well. One, two, it was the threat of three. a water. She was like, no, don't spill water on me, I'm out. <laughs> I was like, joke's on you, I don't have any water. Three new quests, so these get refreshed as well, which I really like, because then you're not stuck with that same sort of stuff. You're like, oh, I don't want any of these. Right, because only certain this. heroes are going to excel at certain quests, mm -hmm. for sure. And we're going to move the first player token, so I'm going to be first. We're going to add two threat to all Legion and Horde in play. So the Blood Worm goes back up to threat on there. Right. Which I knew would happen. Now we're going to draw the new event for this chapter. Let's level 2 event. It. There you go. Long live the Emperor. Oh, hail the Emperor. <laughs> the Emperor is dead. Long live the Emperor. With the sanction of the escaped Empress, the Governor Asul declares himself the new leader of the last bastion of the Empire. For each player, place one garrison on an empty hex with no other previous thing you move daughters on it. We gotta put two of those bad boys out. Ugh. Anywhere that doesn't already have one of those X's through it and it's unoccupied. I mean, in a place where I'm getting like overwhelmed over here, so like maybe if we can put them over here, maybe you can take some out. Sure. <laughs> that should be no problem. If you could just take some of that out for me, that'd be fantastic. That should be no problem. <laughs> and over the rooftops of Norengard, the new capital hung the smoke of Blackstis day and night, busily working to supply the legions with equipment. I don't want them to supply the legions with mm -mm. equipment. <laughs> place two legions at threat four on the capital. If there is no horde, place one horde at threat four on an empty hex. 
place one activation token on a horde card. So no, this one would have been no. used because he would have been doing yes, this thing, right? Yeah. So then he but he'd get one at this point, and then we need to make two, two legion, legion, which we have the assassin. So two legion. See. This one. This is went downhill really fast right here. <laughs> yeah. I All thought right. we had a little bit of a control like going on on the board, and I see I was wrong. All right, so for the assassin, place her target, and then that player flips their starting feats. Place one activation token on her card. So you flip over your starting feats because you're the first player. Aww. You don't need those. You don't need those. That's not cool. I guess this. I didn't want to teleport anyway. The clash one is the one I didn't want to get rid of because that gives me... There we go. An automatic shield. That's not cool. And then we need another one also on the capital, Dude, which we've assassin. got the spy master. Spy uh, master. Oh, there's also an immediate here. action on the quest. Thank you so much. Whenever you're ready, Dr. Sure. Roy Hogg, I'll do uh, it. So for the spy master, says place his target. Flip the most expensive items on the market. You cannot draw new ones even on refresh. Well, that is very nice of him. He's flipping them so we can get... Oh, no. We can't. No, so then we can't on refresh. Okay, so this one here... The Imperial Spy. Why are there so many spies and assassins around here? Weird. The Empire gains one VP for each haven on the map. Maximum of seven. So that's four. That's going to help them. Well. Well. Hey, don't tell us about those. Well, one, two, three, four. Now you are no longer beating well, the I'm, NPCs. That happened very quickly. <laughs> <sighs> so I am still ahead of them, but she is not. So I was going to go after, like, I was thinking maybe going after the Bloodworm, but no, we need to knock back the All Legion right. hard. So, in the event phase, we still need to place one activation token on every Horde and Legion card. So we get all activated, and then we enter the build phase, where we get to draw two feats from our deck. That's not good. And keep one. Two on him and two on her. Yeah, no, this is not good. This is just mean. <laughs> I don't like these events at all. What kind of world is this? What kind of world has events like this? This is not a chef's kiss. Mwah. No. <laughs> just, it went real bad real fast. I'm going to get this Guile card This here. is definitely like <laughs> one of those like cooperative games where you're like... You're like, yes, and then you're like, no. You almost no. are overconfident. Like, look, oh, this isn't so bad. No. And then you're like, oh, no, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> I'm gonna it's get... not unbeatable. It's definitely beatable. Yeah, I'm going to get this Guile card. Especially if we just turn off the cameras and remove a camera. Oh, well, that's what? helpful. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Specifically because I get to gain three resources, which will be really important right now because I need to build some stuff up. So, what should I buy? Okay, I think I'm going to gain these resources here for my free ones and then... Where do you gain your free resources from? From my Guile card that I got. Did nice. you do your feet? Did you get oh, the feats? I did not. The I'm feats. Sorry. You need to. Yeah, you need defeated. to go ahead and do too. You have been defeated. <laughs> when you use the trade action, you may gain food instead of salt, which is nice. But I actually have a lot of food. Discard this to roll the dice of your units that were destroyed here this round, after damage on your hero's hex. So if my hero's there, I could potentially use bloodlust to basically get like one more activation off anybody who's destroyed, which is really good. So you gained resources. Yeah. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm spending six food to get six tribesmen out. And then I'm going to spend another three, four, five, uh, four food and six salt to get my warg, elite riders. I'm going to get two of those again. So a little bit better than what I had last time. I'm going to put my wargs here. I'm going to spawn them here. Right? Because I want to keep them kind of together because then I get a bonus. I put a tribesman here since I can only put five on one space anyways, and then I'm gonna put five here. The biggest issue I have is I've got all these things in front of me, which would be great, but I'm not able to just like go there. I have to still command over there. I'm trying to figure out what all I want to buy. It's like you, I want to buy some stuff, but I also want to like leave enough stuff to do other things with, you know. Yeah, because I could be buying, like, wall defenses and tower defenses if I felt like they right. were coming at me. But there's not really any troops near me. But these ones are, which, you know, hopefully I'm going towards them. All right, I think I'm going to... Gosh, this is going to be a rough round. I think I'm going to spend, like, a bunch of resources and buy a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm going to buy 
an elite ranger. I'm gonna buy a beast rider. Remember how earlier I said I don't need archer. any soul? I need soul. And I'm gonna buy <laughs> one of my sword sisters here. Sword sister, sword I was sister. totally just thinking about that <laughs> right now. Bye, pal. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope I hope we win. You'll have to come back and check it out and see if we won or not. Because <laughs> I'm still undecided what's going to happen with this. <laughs> we're going to win or not? Yeah, I'm still undecided if we're going to win. I just thought about this. Like, I, mean... I was like, you could go into the capital, but you'd have to first fight this garrison, and then you'd have to fight both no, of these. No, that capital, I don't even want to go over in that capital right now. That capital is so not good business right now. Like, so much not good business in that capital. This would be better if these were explored. <sighs> yeah. It's going to be easier for me to move. Like, I can move people here and fight. But, like, if I go over here, I've got to move and then flip it and then fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oops. Okay, so i got to put my people out here. I'm going to put them, I think, over here. Over here. You can only have five units, not including your hero. Right. They don't count as a unit. Right. And do this. All right. What do you think you're doing? All right, you got your stuff out? You'll be first player this time, too, just as a reminder. All right. I think I'm going to command and maybe take out these skeletons first. Uh, go for it. All right, let's do that. So I'm not going to stop you. We're going to command. We're going to bring these people in here, and we're going to try to take out these skeletons. Get, oh, my God. Oh, what are you, what are you there doing? There we go. That is a mess. Perfect. <laughs> That was a Perfect. mess. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Perfect. No, that was a mess. <laughs> I don't want to even know what that was. All right. That just so makes you want to run and just like die in the curse. <laughs> just gonna leave. There's two skeletons there, okay? And I have a whole bunch of archers and stuff. So I have one, two archers. I got like a beast rider. I got all sorts of stuff in here. All right, so I have two archers. I got one of my rangers in here for that. And then I also have one of these I'm going to do after. One of those, one of these. Okay. So skeletons don't have an archery phase. They don't have an archery phase? Okay, no. so I get a chance to try to take some of these skeletons out. Before I get in here. I'm crossing my fingers right now. Oh, I got two lightning bolts. Which Hold on. Hold on. So I can gain a resource shown on this hex, or I can place my cheapest unit in resources from the reserve here. That Which would be cool full. if I didn't have like a bunch of other stuff. So I think I'm just going to like gain some resources, I think. Ryan says, I just weaponized the chef's kiss. Mwah! Mwah! <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a little bit much. All right, so I'm going to gain those, which is unfortunate, though. Okay, now we're going to go into the other phase I here. really feel like, and you may, people may not be able to see the art on this, but I really feel like I went out with this bloodworm during high school. What? She looks really familiar. Do you think her name's Jennifer? That's a different question. <laughs> wow. Man, I dated someone That's just so like rude. That. All right, are you going to... Get the skeletons. Hey, if you could like not totally hose me in this role. Are they giving me red dye? Two of them? Yeah, two You're of them. If you could not hose me in this role. There you go. Dang it, Dr. Glory Hog. How, how do you feel about that? I don't like it. So place. So basically what happens whenever they get the magic is you place the skeleton there. Right. After damage. So they're going to do two damage, which I'm going to block one. So they're going to do one damage. I'm doing four damage. So you I do take them. out both of them. So it says... So it says for the lightning bolt, it says place one skeleton here. After damage, three skeletons, one hex becomes a horse. So I would automatically place a skeleton there like right now. But then if they're still there by after damage, then there's trouble. All right, so you said that you blocked one of them, but then you lose one of your characters. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and then how much total damage are you doing to them? You're doing enough to kill them all. That's good. No, the one comes after, I thought. No, it says lightning. It says place one skeleton here. And this says after damage, three skeletons and one hex become a horde. So if you don't kill them, like say you, they rolled the lightning and then you didn't kill them all, and there were still three there, then they would become. That's what it literally says right here. Right, right. So you're good. Okay. So you got all three. Okay. So then I take, but I take one of my people out here. Yeah. So they're gonna go out and here. then they go over here in the graveyard. 
attention to the chaos graveyard. Hold on. Place one of... Okay, so after combat, place one of my basic units destroyed here on any of my havens. So that guy goes over here. Why don't you put him on this haven? Leave me together. Because that haven's crowded. Okay, Dr. Glory Hog? Jeez. All right. All right. <laughs> that haven okay. Okay. is full up on Sword Sisters, all right? Okay. All right. <laughs> one Sword Sister per haven. Got it. All right, did we get rid of these skeletons? You we were they were what supposed to be here. Did I, grab? I don't know. Oh, I, don't I, know. I grabbed. Uh, I did. I grabbed the ones off of here. Okay, that's funny. Now I don't know why. I was just like skeletons. They're gone. It's your turn. Did you get victory points for killing skeletons? Oh yeah, I get. I get two victory points. Thank you. One, two. You Helpful. killed three. Three. Ugh. That ties us up. Boom. You're finally as good as me. How dare you? <laughs> I am going to start off with a move. Because I kind of need to come in here to explore this stuff. And then I'm going to explore. Which I know you're like, why are you doing that? But I literally can't really do anything else with these. Otherwise, I can't well, move Well, you can here. try to. Nope, there's a wall here. Oh, so that's it makes right. more sense to that's go up this right. way. Okay, so I'm going to move these to the side. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers for you that it's not something really bad. Fernahala. Gain two food. So I'm going to do that right away before I forget. If empty, place two garrisons here. If not, reinforce here. Um... So it's going to be a reinforced because there is something there. So it's going to get one more. Place one activation token on a legion or horde card with the least amount of tokens. So that would be this well, one. Well, at here. least they're all tied up, I guess. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Oh, there's a marsh there, though. Don't get excited about my marsh. This is my marsh. But that would be my turn. So I moved and I explored. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move. <sighs> Let's see here. Hold on. If my hero's hex is unexplored and has no curse, flip it and resolve its effects. So I can go on the blood worms one because there's no curse there. Right, your hero can. Right. Yeah, your hero can always move around and do stuff. And you're going to explore it. So yeah, because I, I want to take out the blood worm. So I gain two plunder. Okay. If empty, place one garrison here. If not, reinforce here. So it will reinforce, right? Right, so you get the skeleton? Yeah, and then place two garrisons on empty hexes with no X. Wow, well, that did not go over very well. Because, like, we that have, like... is not helpful. We only have, like, two garrisons left at this point. Oh, this gosh. is a lot of garrisons. I imagine they just start getting uh, VPs if we can't place them, you know? That's, yeah, no, I know. There we go. Yikes. All right. So this seems fine. This seems fine. I think fine. you're doing very well for yourself. This seems fine. All right, I'm going to command, because you, you are done, correct? Yes. Did you get everything else out there you needed to? I believe so. All right, so I'm going to command. What happens in this marshy marsh area here? We don't know if the, uh, what is it? Marsh, so, so. On the archery and the clash, a red becomes a white. Are whites better? No. No. But that's kind of good if you have like a bunch of skeletons there, or like for example, the blood worm being there, that would be good. It's not good if against the the regular old garrisons. The garrisons, though, yeah, no, because they have a bunch of blue and orange die. All right, we're still gonna have to do it. I mean, we need to do something, right? It's either that, or I can move and explore again. But no, actually, I'm gonna do that. Get back my food. So why why are you gonna move and explore again? That's explore a bad idea. Explore again. Don't talk to me about oh, bad gosh. ideas. Oh gosh. Go over here. Oh, now this board's going to be so full up. So gain two salt. Hey, that's worth it. Hashtag mm, worth it. I don't think so. If empty, place one garrison here. If not, reinforce here. Place one garrison on an empty hex with no X. So that's all the garrisons. They're all out now. So that's good. We wanted that, right? No. Oh. No, that is not what we wanted, Dr. Gloria. <laughs> I think we just got in over our head on this. No. Why do we always do that? So this is like a running theme in our games is us starting like off very cautious the first like round and then after that we're just like, Bleh. No, here's the thing. I like to explore and that's a problem in dungeons. <laughs> Don't take me to a dungeon. Noted. Problem Noted. solved. All right, so that's my turn. All right. I guess we're just going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and do some commanding. We're going to throw everybody in here. We're going to try this out. So we're bringing everybody into this space right here. We're taking them in there. See? See this, this space here that we needed? 
All right, we're taking on this blood worm. And the skeleton. And the skeleton. You gotta fight the skeleton first. So yes. the first battle happens with the skeleton. Oh, dang. In the Highlands, it's only one die. For archery, is only one die. Well, they don't have a die, so you might as well roll it. Maybe you'll kill them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Come on, shields. Good job. Ah. Good job. Do I have anything to fix that? <laughs> Just better I do not. I, I do not. Okay. Well, they roll two hits back. For their archery thing? No, oh. for their clash. Oh, okay. Okay, for their clash. For which one? The skeleton. It's the blood worm and the skeleton. Yeah, the skeleton you have to fight first. Oh, my God. So the okay. skeleton's going to do two damage to you. You want me to get the blood worm involved in this business right now? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to get my people out. Is that what you want? You think you can handle that? So I need a red die, I need one of those, I need one of these. She can't handle a skeleton. She's talking about let's fight the blood worm at the same time. Listen. I hope you roll some shields. Seriously, I do hope. For two of them? Yeah, that would not be good. That'd be really sad. Still lose two on a skeleton? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to lose yeah, a skeleton. Yeah, but I'm also going to hurt somebody, so... Yep, you killed the poop that. out of that skeleton. There's that. Now lose two people. That was definitely equal. Wow. All right, we're going to go ahead and spawn. Let me double check on how much I can use this card. So after my combat. So yes, I will spawn this archer over there. And the other one goes. And they go into the graveyard. The chaos graveyard. Hmm. So it's going to be those die right there. There. Ugh. Against the blood worm, this is not going to be good. No. I'm going to get wrecked. I'm yeah. going to get wrecked, everyone. This is it. So I'm archery wreck. phase is just one die. What? You said archery phase is one die. Yeah. Or yes, in here, yes. It's one red die, or oh, it's one whatever die they it's were. One die. Oh God. I got a shield. <laughs> Well, that's good. <laughs> Got a shield. You're good. There's nothing else special that happens with... Oh, no. Place one curse on the sex after damage. Okay. So let's just get that curse ready. I did go ahead and hit him for one, though. It's going to go in there after damage. You did do one damage? I did a damage, yeah. Oh, that's good, at least. Again? Oh, now we go to clash, huh? Yeah. So now clash is three red die. Go ahead and roll your die. Okay, here, you roll these die. I don't, don't let me roll them, please. <laughs> I should not be allowed. You shouldn't be allowed. Dr. Glory Hog, why, do, why did this you is do your why? Fault. So, okay, so you're going to block one of them. And you're going to do two damage back to them. So I will move the two damage down. But then I'm also going to take two damage. Yes, plus they rolled two of these, which whenever you can't place the curse, don't they just get a victory point? Yes. So they're going to get two victory points. No! Because I rolled two of those. Those that, go into the graveyard. That was on you? You did that? Oh my gosh, you uh, lose one of these big people? Yeah, there's only so much I can do. Like, this is this is it. You can't get out of the clash. Like, you have to finish yeah, it. So. Yeah, you do. Well, at least they're only they rolling one, one red, die. One red die. One red die. One hit. One hit. So, you guys killed each other. That's well, cool. you know what? The blood worm went down, though, and that's what matters, everyone, okay? Is it, though? I'm that's not, what matters. I'm not honestly sure that was what mattered. <laughs> I have some other troops over there. So, you do gain <laughs> you gain four for defeating the blood worm, which is good. Get out of here, blood worm. <laughs> that's not so confident. You're like, get out of here, blood worm. Get out of here, you little rascal. You you little rap scallion. You lost the whole <laughs> set of troops. It's fine. Listen, I uh, did my Yikes. best. Okay, <laughs> I did my best. Yikes. <laughs> I'm not going to say it was a huge win, but it was a win. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Are you done? I am. I am. All right. I'm going to attempt For now, you. I guess. I'm going to go ahead and command. I'm going to command these guys up here. Okay. And I'm going to bring my hero, too. So I commanded this tile. I brought people from here and here. I've got, like, almost the max amount. 
I've got a decent amount. I'm going to attack this garrison now that I'm in here. I'm in the marsh, though. And the marsh does what again? The marsh is... All right, so I can only roll... Oh, your reds become whites. Oh, but it's all of your reds become whites. Ugh. Blech. I don't want to fight in there. Okay. Yeah, I think we had talked about that earlier. Do I want to go in there? If it's going to... I mean, you really got to do what's going to be Yeah, I don't know if best. I have enough to mess around with that. I thought that'd be good. You have I'll all these troops this. here, yeah. You should command well, over there. Well, I was going to do them too, but I was going to do them like later. But I'll do that one instead. I think that's probably the best best move well, the on that. Well, thought was like I come here, fight, and then I can come over here and fight, right? Because then I would have a path because I have to go around anyways. But we'll see what happens here instead. So there's no effect here as far as terrain goes, which is good. But I don't have any archery or anything here. I just have regular people. All right, so you ready? You're going to be the garrison for me? All right. So for the regular garrison, uh, it does get one white die for the archery phase. I don't have any archers. Just making sure I don't have anything. Okay, we're good. So I don't have any archers. We're going to call that as uh, nothing. <laughs> All right, so let me move on to the clash. And so for oh, the... battle cry. Any battle you can walk away from. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, oh, my not. hero's still there, so, you know. So I've got it's one, only two, a three, tiny four, curse five. left. <laughs> so I got five of these orange die. And you're going to do the white and the blue. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one, that's Dr. Glory Hog. Skulls. They got nothing. That's good. All that to defeat one <laughs> garrison. But that's a victory point, and they get one less victory point. So it's a good swing. It's a Suckers. good swing. Uh, that would be my turn. All right. Oh, uh, after combat, if you have one plus unit here, gain two resources on your hero's hex. Yes, because you got the plundering, the plunders within yeah. you. There, I mean, there's a reason to have that here. I might as well just grab this. I have a feeling I'm going to be turning these into victory points, but we'll see. I do have the pillage. Well, let's see here. Okay, you may draw a new quest. You may discard any items from the market. That would kind of... Well, no. Let's see here. This one removes... One curse, discard this quest and draw a new one. That one's actually really nice, but you'd have to complete two of those. Oh, but it's only a shield and a lightning bolt. That's actually not bad. That's a druid sacrifice, though. Hold on. What the heck? <laughs> we have this one over here. Remove all activation tokens from one legion. Discard this quest. Oh, both these quests are really good. Both of those are, like, really good quests. So, okay, I have four actions left. I can command here for one. I could go here and explore, but I'm not going to be able to, like, go explore, command. Like, I'm not going to have enough movement and do a quest at the same time. Ugh, there's so many garrisons out. It's just not good. Right. It's so not good. Right, and the problem is with these garrisons is like it takes a move and then explore and then a command. I'm gonna have to spend three to like get over here and right, actually deal with this right. one if I don't spawn more somehow. All right, we're gonna command on this hex right here. So we're gonna pull everybody over to it. Like so. And then Dr. Blair, how is your turn? I am really tempted just to command over to here. But I have to fight that garrison, and then I'd have to fight. And you have people. to fight, and then you have to fight them as well. It's, I only have three left, so. Yeah, same. I think it's worth it though if I can kill anything there. Because coming over here is not a great battle for me, and then then I or I have to spend like one two commands just to get up over to here, and that's still a three. It's going to be hard to defeat still, you know. I mean, let's at this point, it. at this point, it's all or nothing. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go in the capital. <laughs> I'm going to command to go to the capital. We'll find out if this is a good idea or not. So whenever you guys get it, you decide. So I'm going to come to the capital. I'm going to bring all these troops in here. Oh, I can't. There's a wall there. I can't. Is there really? Yep. There's a oh, I didn't wall. even see that. Oh, no. <laughs> there is a wall there. <laughs> that marsh is a real problem. Oh, no. Well, I mean, it only... Off different hella. 
I mean, the Marshall only affects red die, which are really my wargs. So if I actually just come over, if I command here, I already spent the thing to command, right? Yeah. I would just bring these guys over, and they're not affected because they're already rolling orange well, dice. It's remember, red die become white. Hold on. Remember, you can always pick from both of these groups and take the people that don't have red die. Right. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. These all have orange die. Yeah. So I'm just going to take them. So let's do this. Let's do this. They have orange die. So I don't have a range phase, but it is a level two tower, so it does have a range phase. Which is two... It's level two, right? Uh, it just has, yeah. So it has two range. We got two hits and a shield. So I already lose two people. That's, That's not good. good That's start. not good. Okay. I need a lot less die now. That's good. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> All right. All right, so go to the clash phase. And so they're still rolling a blue, two orange, and a white. These witches don't seem to be very witchy. You know what? My Blue, witches can only do so much, okay? Two orange and a white. And I'm rolling just three orange now. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm like nervous for you. That's part of the cooperative part of this is like, I want Dr. Glory Hog to do well. I don't want to be rolling bad stuff against Dr. Glory Hog. Oh, That's thank goodness. Good. So <gasps> they're at a two, and so I did three, so that actually does it. Oh my them. gosh, that was so good. That was so lucky. That's not lucky. Did you see how I rolled those guy? <laughs> that was, not... was so much skill and technique, Dr. Glory Hog, Thank that you. you had there. Don't try to call I am it insanely luck impressed die. by your dice play, okay? <laughs> I, I have this class. Oh, so after combat, if you have one or more units, you're gaining two resources. So I'm just going to gain some of this. I like that card for you because it just like. It makes it so you can get that much bigger the next round, like for the next chapter, yeah. you know? You can really build pillage. off of that, yeah. All right. Well, well, I'm a gang leader and a gladiator, all right? That's how I roll. What I'm going to do. Give up. No. <laughs> Never going to give you up. Got to give up. I'm going to do a quest. I'm going to do a quest. I think I'm going to try to remove a curse from the board here. So I'm going to take my magic pieces here, like so. I'm going to take some guile, like so. Does that sound like you were just doing? <laughs> and we're going to try to do a, a druid sacrifice, OK? Like you whoa, do. Like whoa. you do. Listen, it's for the greater good, all right? This is removing a curse. you got to sacrifice the druid on there, okay? Oh, my gosh. That's how you get rid of all curses. I don't know if you know that, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I did know that, actually. <laughs> so this is actually perfect. This is... No, did you really? Perfect. A perfect roll, okay? I got you everything did. you can get on this card, like everything, okay? So you got two victory points as a bonus. Two victory points as my bonus because I had a lightning as well as a shield. Like exactly, I have three of the skulls. So I actually like solved this three times. I only need to solve it twice. Mm, my dru I sacrificed that druid so hard. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove this curse. <laughs> and I will get rid... Oh, you, oh, you're getting rid of that curse? Oh, no, you can get rid of the one over there if you want. That actually I'm going to get rid of that sense. curse. Okay. Do you get a victory point for moving the Perfect. Mwah. Mwah. No, just the two victory points on there, okay? okay. And that is that is my quest. And you get to draw a new quest too, don't you? No, that was for... No, I thought this one the other ones. said it. Yeah, oh, yeah, draw and a draw a new one. quest. There we go. I mean, you're going to have... Which those normally don't refresh. Right, you're, you definitely are holding them back for sure. Well, that's just one less VP that they're going to have. Right, I'm not really worried end. about the Horde. I'm really worried about the Legion. Because <laughs> the Legion is what's going to gain a bunch at this point. Drink the souls of the young. Raise the dead to do your bidding. Turn someone into a cat. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like this is not enough to come into here with just those three guys. But I also would like much rather like drop down one of these bad boys, you know? Right. Like a haven would be nice. Mm hmm Boy. Because in the end, you're going to score two for each haven in play. Right, but also if I put a haven out here, what do these guys do whenever it's their turn? Don't they come out? Based on their activation. 
Right, they have two activations. They do have two activations, but... So they're going to come out and destroy any haven so that's close to me. we do have one of these here. Remove all activation tokens from one legion, and then discard this quest here for this one here. This one is, every player gains one resource for each shield and lightning bolt, bolt you roll. Discard this quest. And then this new one that came out, because the last card was, place one basic unit on each of your havens. Well, that's good. Every other player places one unit on any of their havens or explored empty hex. That is freaking a super awesome card so late. I, I wish we would have had that one earlier. Well, so here's what I'm worried about. If I drop a thing here, right? If I drop the haven here, okay. they're just going to go one and then they're going to attack it and take it out. Unless I have troops here. You will have to have the troops there and then they will fight. But that might be a really good way to split them up. Well, this guy, wouldn't he come after me too? I mean... Well, they're going to go... We can technically move them in opposite directions because they're just... They're going to... What is it? With the least amount of people there, and so if they're already there... So you suggest I drop a haven? It's going to give you defense, right? No, no, wait. Not haven just the haven. If it had walls and a tower, it would, but that's not going to work out. We're not going to be able to build again. Not before we ended end the chapter. Yeah. Whew. Guys, heads up. You forgot their targets. Oh, what do they target? Oh, yeah. Is it on the card there? Probably. So it says right here. So place their target, and that player flips the starting feet. So you have to go ahead and put which person they're going after. Oh, they have specific people they're supposed to go after? I did not realize that. Well, let's just split them one and one. Yeah, no, absolutely. That makes sense. That makes sense. So that's how they figure that out, because there's a Haha, target. sucker, you went ahead and told me about reading <laughs> earlier in the game. <laughs> Listen, be nice. <laughs> so who do we got here? We've got an assassin. We've got this guy. That's what these were for. That makes sense. That makes sense. Is this him? This is the assassin. I'll put the assassin over here on me. And you got the other one? That works. All right. Splitting them up just makes sense. Well, we would have split them up anyways. Um, okay, that makes sense. Because I was like, well, how do we know where they're going to go? Which we were just talking about splitting them anyways. So I will drop a haven then. Spend my three. If you can defend the haven and it's out, you're going to get two victory points for it being there. Right. Spend my three. I only got one more activation after this, though. So you know. It is your go. Because I did a lot of exploring for I mean, reasons that were good. I also, I originally wanted to get out two havens this round, but I did not want to pass up that. No, I think killing the thing was good. Yeah, taking the curse Put the target off. on one of your havens. Ah. So we have to put the target on one of our actual havens. So we would have had these havens. I would have put it on this haven. Uh, this one. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nemesis Games. Thank you. All right, so I put mine out there. It would have been out there. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Remove all activation tokens from one legion. Discard this quest. I could try to I could try to just go after quests. Place one basic unit. This is such a good one. On all of your havens, every other player places one basic unit on any of their havens or explored empty hex. Hmm. What do you think, Dr. Glory Hog? Because I have two actions left. One of them I think I'm going to place down a haven. The other one I can either try to... Remove all activation tokens from somebody. Oh, okay. So it says, draw the top legion card, place a standing on the capital, set its start tracker, then resolve the immediate effect, place its target on one faction's table with the least units. So we would have flipped them, though. We didn't have any units out, so I think that's fine. Um, then we will remove an activation token, place a, a garrison there. I remember that. Whenever they move, they leave a garrison. Move the legion, ha uh, legion one hex closer to its target with this priority. A hex with a haven, the U.S. enemy units, a hex with the few... Hex with a haven... Fuse enemy units, a hex with a fuse enemy units, an empty hex, any other hex, resolve combat. It would have been either one of these, because I know I had one unit there. That's fine. We just roll on. It happens. But that's good to know, because whenever they're placed out, then they're going to have directives that they're going after at the end of the chapter. Right. That. 
Still at a loss of the if what only I want to do. This highly I would want to do laminated it. sheet that I had. I How had in my hands. How dare you, Dr. Glory Hog? <laughs> I was using it as a fan earlier. So should I build a haven or should I try to do more quests? Because I still have not used. I had a card where I could like flip over all of my stuff, which is cool. Discard this to turn all my dice I want to any sides for a non-combat roll, which I can use for one of these cards if needed. I don't know. I do not know what is best. I think it's close. It's going to be a close game either way. It's going to be close either way. This has got a very good engine. I don't, even with us making a mistake earlier, it still like allows you to keep playing. It doesn't completely break the game. We don't have to restart. I think you should just do something. Pick something. I don't know. Because like now my thought was I was going to originally bring these guys up here thinking that they were going to come over here. But if they're coming over here, like is it worth bringing one guy here or should I try to just... I'm going to chance it and I'm going to put a haven there, I think. Over there. Okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. All right, so here's what I'm saying. Okay. I've got this last activation. Originally, I thought since I thought they were coming here, I was going to bring these guys up, which I can only bring two more guys up, right? Okay. I was going to bring my two worgen up. Since he's going to go this way instead, and I'm not as worried about it, because you look at it to make sure that I'm correct. I don't think it's going to attack my haven. I think it comes just for this one specific haven. Or who are these? So right here, activate a legion. Remove one activation token. Right. Place one garrison here, which then so, it would upgrade it. Right. And then move one, move legion one hex closer to its target with this priority, a hex with a haven. Fewest enemy units, a hex with the fewest enemy units. So it would go it would towards still the go haven. Here. Yeah. And fight here still. Mm -hmm. So it is still going to try to fight there. Dang. I, think I, should, I was going to say, is it worth trying to bring these guys over here to fight? But no, it's going to fight here still, too. And I only have three little dudes there. It does make sense to try to bring my two wargs up. Because then it's like, I fight here. And then if it gets through, it's going to come here. But hopefully it's been weakened by then, you know? I think so. I think that's probably a good idea, actually. All right. I will command, and I will bring my worgen up here. So I will do what I was originally thinking, which is bring the worgen yeah, up here. Yeah, I think here. that's going to be the best. And I need to spend one food. It's like so strategic. <laughs> like, oh, if these guys move over here, then I just need to have this here. And then, ah. Uh. Oh, I got to pay. So that was my last my That was my last thing was my command. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quest. And I'm going to. You need the one with a call for aid? Willing I think to fight? so. I'm going to do the willing for fight one. Willing to fight. Fight, 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 fight. Hey, what's going on, Petter? Do that. We're going to do... If we lose, it's because Petter showed up. Oh, if we Petter. win, it's not because <laughs> Petter showed up. You'd like this one, Petter. Yeah, I think so, Petter. All right. We're going to roll. I'm going to get good stuff. It's going to happen. If not, I'm just going to make it happen. So... <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. It isn't, but... You got the good one, which is the here. victory point one and the resolve. So, yeah, what else would you even want? Perfect. I mean, I just needed to solve one, then, yeah, I got the victory point. So, I so go up one victory. 19 victory points, which is good. So, place one basic unit on each of your havens. Okay, so basically... Every other player places one basic unit on any of their havens or a explored empty hex. Discard this quest. So, basic units. I just get one? Yeah. Yes, I believe so. So every other player places one basic unit. So I'm gonna but go I get one basic unit on each of my havens, which is really good. Right. But still, let me put an extra archer out here. So hopefully there's a little bit more defense. Right. Well, same here, you know. Two I'm just archers, like one swordsman. Trying to put myself out. I didn't out. think I'd be spending my last like turn just being like, reinforcements! <sighs> and I'm actually out of basic units because my other ones are stuck in the graveyard still. So I couldn't even fully populate all of my basic units, which I'm really sad about right now. Oh, you know, I just realized. What? Leave the wargs here and bring that one archer I had and this one guy up here because the marsh turns Oh, yeah, because they have red ones, yeah. So it's That's not going to be good for here. you. Yep. All right, so this is done. Perfecto. I already gave you the victory point. You're doing really good. Well, we need you to do really good, too. That's the thing, well, Dr. Can, Glory Hog. I can buy one or two, I guess. All right. Your actions are all done. Yes. My actions are all done. Fantastical. Okay. Action phase is done. Nemesis phase. Activate legions and hordes once for each activation token on them in initiative order, lowest to highest. 
So Lois would be the assassin. So the assassin is going to go. And they're going to head on over right in there. Right, so we're going to get rid of Lois. That was one activation. And so it would fight now, right? Right. So we go to our pre-combat. I don't archery. have pre-combat. We go to archery. One they blue have... and two white, right? Yeah. Am I reading in that? Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset. And I have I have an archer, so I get one white die. I've got a hit and a shield. And we have uh, two hits and a shield. Okay. So I would lose a I would lose somebody. Um, what is my archer? So I guess I will lose one of these, but I did hit. Oh, so we we bounced off, but they did get better than me. Right. And so that was the imperial. Okay. And now they're gonna do clash. So let's see here: one purple, white, one blue, three orange. Ah, that's quick. Like one of each color, like a red. Well, they only go red. Their red will become a white. Okay, so two white because and then we're in an the orange. Marsh. Yeah, that marsh is right. super important. That completely changes the Oh, yeah, no, the train does. Don't kill my haven. Uh-oh. I'm going to re-roll that one because it was, like, on top. There we go. That's worse. Why Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So you got three hits. Imagine. And they do have a lightning bolt, too. Oh, no. It's another two hits. What? Okay, but only once per round. Okay. So that's a thing. That's um, not good, though. Right. We got one. So I can block one. How many total do you have to deal? So you've got one, two, three, and then four, four five. five. And I can block and they one blocked of them. One. So I'm going to lose everybody um, because they're going to do five and I can only block one. So you're going to kill my four guys. But I do one, two, three back and mm -hmm. they only block one of them. So yep. they're going to take, so take two. So here's something I'm going to try here. So I pick some down to two. I'm going to go ahead and use this card, which is Clash. Discard this to roll the dice of your units that were destroyed here this round. <gasps> Oh. So I basically get just to get to do it one more time. That's very nice. So I don't like know they if have like a what is it? Like a last gasp. Yeah. So I lose all four of them, but if I'm understanding correctly from my bloodlust, this card this to roll the dice of your units that were destroyed here this round. So I'm gonna roll them again. Hopefully I'll get two more hits. I did. Yeah. So that should take it out. That's really good. Okay. So I lost it, but the assassin is gone. And then, and so you know I what, gained... you still have your haven, and that's what's really important right Right, there. and if it's destroyed, remove her target and gain three. So I gain three. One, two, three. Which is why I was holding on to that bloodlust. That's blood huge. Bloodlust! All right. Exactly. That's what I feel like you're just yelling. You're like, bloodlust! You're like, prepare for what's about ready to happen. <laughs> which one was the one that flipped over my cards? At the beginning, like, are they always flipped over? Is that person yeah, gone? Yeah, that's the spy master. Dang no, it. Spy and just as if destroy, discard the flipped items from the market and then refill it. Right. No, they're flipping over the cards in the market. Oh, the one that flipped over your cards in the beginning, that was, no, that was this one. Is it gone? It said, place your target. That player flips their, uh, it should have actually been my cards, but that's okay. Okay. But and yeah, you can flip them now. You can all right, I'm double back. checking because I just want to see what all I can do as far you as can like flip this them person now. So is going to activate. When it said target, which I didn't understand, if it targeted me, then I should have flipped over my starting cards. But we flipped over yours. It's fine. It's fine. This game's hard enough. Let's just roll. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, my normal state is kind of bloodlusty. That is true. Oh man, what were we doing? We were playing okay. with some Nerf guns out in the park with my like my little brother and. Uh, the kiddo and stuff and everything. I was like, blood loss! I just started shooting everybody. All right, they're going to go ahead and invade here. No. What are you doing? They're going to invade here? Nah. Nah. Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> so they'll spend one the spy That's master. That's one activation on that. All right, and they're going to have three white die. You don't want me to roll against I don't. You. I don't want you to either. Do you want either. to roll against yourself? Last time that you rolled yourself three little Hold lightning Hold on, what do we got here? So I can re-roll up two die in the archery I did phase. need to discard my bloodlust, of course, but there's nothing left anyways. I went all in on that one. All right, three white die. We got ourselves a hit and a block. Hit and a block. So nothing happens. Nothing. What else you got? Mm, that's it. Then now we're going into clash. Now hold on. You are Oh, wait. I could re-roll technically, yeah, but... You um, could. No, it doesn't matter because I got a hit and a yeah, thing now. Yeah, it. All right, you ready for the clash? So mm -hmm. the clash would be a purple, two blue, a white, and a red. Oh, this is not going to be good. A purple. Two this blue, is not going to be a good. A white and a red. A purple, two blue, a white, and a red. 
This is probably, Petter, one of the easiest sort of miniature style dungeon crawl games to get into that I've played. Because but it's like the hardest to beat. It is, but it's extremely challenging to beat. But like they did a really, really great job on having this all is, of the information out here for you. This so. is no Jaws of a Lion intro <gasps> level. No. What? That's good. That's two hits. I didn't. It's not enough. <laughs> well, of course it's not enough. They blocked both and they hit you back for two. That's super fair. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take uh, the we're gonna take these archers out of here, I guess. Okay. And we're gonna respawn one of them over there, I guess. Okay. So it's and that here. goes over there. With that. No, nope, that's oh. the imperial, and that's not good. I mean, why? I, I the, like this. I don't know. So <laughs> it imperial, just is what happened. Since the imperials killed some of her troops and some of my troops, it gets even more victory points. What happened? Okay. I, I have like how two at the end of this, here. no matter what, it's not like we wiped the floor of them, right? Like it's not like we destroyed all these or anything. Like it's still just a matter of like who did better in these skirmishes. It's not like we won the war. It was definitely like these were battles, and we're just determining who actually. Won the battle, even though we both took heavy losses. All right, let's do this. Let's it's like do the this. same dice for me. Oh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom. Okay, I get one blue die because now I have less threat. We've got three hits, but no defense. This is your chance to do two, which is something. But that takes all my people out. Yeah, it's fine. But I did do two. You did do two. Good job. Okay, those go over there. Good job. Good job. Now, since you don't have any units there, I think your haven's destroyed. No. And they would use their other activation to go to the next place. Spy master. So rude. Spying so down. rude. Spying all up in your face. This is not going to be good. Giving you some spies. All right. You said spies oh. are supposed to hide in the shadows. we got to do like the archery first. What? Is, what? What thing is this? Okay, so this is also where I can re-roll if I need to. You should probably re-roll that. I should probably re-roll. There you go. All right. So you blocked theirs. You did one back. So they're down to one now. They are down to one. And they leave a garrison. That's yes. right. And they leave a garrison. Because they just <laughs> pieced out. And they were right, right here. here. <laughs> Good call. And now oh, we're using... Oh, no. No, it's just a purple and a white now, though. You're fine. You're okay. Okay, well, they got, I got a, a hit. They got a hit and that. So they're going to do discard your most expensive item or a feat without using it. So you got to discard your most expensive item or a feat without using it. Probably fine. All right. Uh, we'll be discarding discard. that mask. So, okay. yep, put that over there. All right, you did it. So, but you did but I did hit him. To kill him. I did get him. Yes. And I still I still get victory for that. You so. get four. And my one, one two, little three, tiny haven four. is still protected. <laughs> okay. Tiny <laughs> haven. Ooh, ooh. Tiny I haven. defended ooh. one of my havens at the very least. Okay. You did it. You saved one haven, <laughs> baby haven. Ooh, ooh. I would say overall. I mean, we have not calculated the points up yet, and I'm going to tell you what everybody's at before we start calculating this up because yeah. I feel like. Although we just went through here and got wrecked, we did more wrecking than they wrecked, okay? We're hoping. <laughs> so, the Imperial... Imperials are at 9. The Horde is at 8. I'm at 17, and she is at 23. 23. So we've got a lead as of now, but let's start calculating up and see what happens. So we do production phase. So we gain resources based on our total havens. So oh, that's good. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take gain. the four there. This will make four a big salt. difference right here. Well, yeah, because in the end we can try to purchase for five any like final little VP that we may need, you know. And I get one and one. One and five. And then we also total up. I think we did it. I think on we got the board this. here any right. the ones that we might have. So. That's two, three salt and three, then one and one. Four, five. We have five more food. I'm over here just collecting man and stuff. Good. Like this I'm going to need business. you to buy me some VP or something. You're much higher than me. Maybe. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to get one plunder, one oh, salt. Oh, gosh. And that's it. Okay. Yes. Then the Empire is going to score. Okay. So one victory for every hex with a garrison in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
seven. Ooh, that's so painful. Seven. So they go from nine to painful. sixteen. Painful, no. The legion is now one point behind me. One for every legion in play, which I don't think they have any legion in no, play, right? No, we destroyed right? all the we legion. We destroyed all of them. Two per every faction in the graveyard, and that's what's going to throw it over so on that. Four. So that's four. One, two, three, four. They're at twenty. And they I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take us off three. here, so hopefully you can start seeing them come across the board over here. Hopefully, there's. Do you want to point to where they're at? So here's her, and then they are right here, and I am back over yeah. here, and then the horde is way back over here. Or the here. chaos. So chaos. chaos. Well, it's the chaos horde. Well, it's chaos horde. Okay, so one for every curse in play. There's yep. only two. One, two, three. There's three. There's one is there? Here. Yep. Oh, yeah, one, there is. Two, okay. Three. Okay. One for every horde in play. There's no horde in play. Two right. for every faction in their graveyard. So just two. So they're at 13. So it's like this. It goes chaos horde. Me, Legion, her. But I have to beat the Legion still. Okay. Players now score. So two for each of their havens in play. Two, four, six for me. Oh, two, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That gets me up to you. And, and I get four? One, two, three, four. We're good. So X amount for any special hexes, which I have one here. You should have one as well. I've got one. And then one to any player with five resources paid. So we could go ahead and take our resources that we have here and pay for our extra ones, but so as you can see, I've got quite a horde of resources. We're already we're already above them, just barely. Yeah, the difference of points is only that four right there. Yeah, like because if you would have matched, if you would have tied with them on twenty right there, like. We would have lost the game, or we would have had to pay the resources. Well, right, like, like if 100%. I wouldn't have defeated this here, which gave me four points, and I got another two points for having this garrison, I would have been six points behind. Plus, they would have gotten more points for having the Legion out in play. That would have made all the difference. So losing if this those battle here end battles, would have been the end. If those end battles would have gone really, really, really wrong, <laughs> this would not have worked out at all. <laughs> like, it was very... I don't want to say lucky yet here's, because we did plan. Here's the best part to have though. like lots of troops to go through. Nemesis is like, you did it. You won the tutorial. That was <laughs> the tutorial. Thanks, thanks Nemesis game. Yeah, because there's we could have played it with an extra curse, an extra skeleton, and an extra garrison out to, to be at the regular like kind of hardish level. Yeah. Plus you could have played three chapters instead, yeah. or four chapters or if four you wanted chapters. to go epic. This That's was right. two chapters. We definitely played it on the normal level. Yes. No. And uh, we won, but it was not. Uh, it wasn't an astounding and victory. You know what? Thank you so much for Nemesis Games for you being in chat and being able to answer any questions for anybody here and any sort of issues that we might have had throughout the game, being able to comment right away and help lead us in the right direction for that. We really, really appreciate that and you being able to take time out of your busy day in order to do that. We had an awesome time playing this game and thank you to our chat hanging out with us and everything. I know Petter showed up a little late, but yeah, we really think that you'd enjoy this game, Petter. It was it was fantastic. We I had a ton of fun playing this. I love that all the little hexes on here contribute toward everything. Well, it's definitely one of those things where you're like, explore or not explore. And with only having really eight activations, you really had to think it through where I was like, do I right. want to move? I didn't think that I would have to be like, okay, I better garrison up. And Every like, decision in this is just so impactful on the entire game. And as you can see here, everything is so clearly written on here on what you should be getting, what all of your actions are. These are your actions that you can take and then still do another action off after them. These are ones that you have to stop and pass to the next player's turn. Like everything has so much thought and detail put into this to make gameplay very easy, you know? Ooh, could have played as the Warlock. They could have been involved. And every clan, there's two other clans, and that means there's six other heroes that you guys didn't get to see. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So there's so much... The Lich Queen. ...more to this game, you know? You don't want to mess around with the Lich Queen, that's for sure. And I love all the pieces. I love building all these up. <laughs> Like all the little towns and everything. Yeah, did you show anybody what it looks like? I did. did I did in one? the very beginning. I did in the very beginning. Here, okay. I have it right here. Because you got yourself, like, here is, we'll put it all together. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> so you've got the garrisons, and then you've got your actual havens, and they both build up. Now, this is the prototype. I can't wait to see the actual. No kidding, right? The Dunza deal. I don't deal. know if I can. I can't really, like, hold on. 
Are you unable to Hold stack? on. I gave you a fully stacked one. What did I you do to it? <laughs> I want to show it at an angle so they can see it like built up like this. And then how easy it is oh for no, it to the go. the tower's fallen. And then whenever you are taking them off, I mean, they, they're so easy. Like, there was so much thought put into how to easily put these little pieces together and build them of up course, and just make them look knew, seamless. They like, knew that the Legion was going to be building garrisons, so they had to make it easy because you're always going to be building up garrisons and losing. <laughs> building it up. I had so much fun. Thank you so much, Nemesis Games, for making sure that we got a copy of this game to go ahead and play for everybody. We had a ton of fun. I was close to using the troll. Why didn't you? I didn't have enough resources. <laughs> he takes a lot of food to feed a troll, apparently. If you're new to this channel, make sure to like and subscribe to our content as we talk about Kickstarters on every Friday, and we play different Kickstarters throughout the week on Sundays and Thursdays, usually. We are also going to be playing... Tales of Conflict on Tuesday, but that's on the on, Game Boy Geek channel. That's right, on the Game Boy Geek channel. And then I don't think we have anything planned just yet. Like, we are still going to be doing our Thursday and Sunday game, but we haven't picked them out yet, so stay tuned for that. We will try to get those out either later today or tomorrow on what we're going to be playing for the rest of the week. Absolutely, and Nemesis Games, like, I cannot wait to, wait to see the final version of this. I'm so excited for you and your Kickstarter, and I wish you tons and tons of success because this is a fantastic game with a ton of lore. We had an amazing time. Other than that, we will see all of you later in the week. Bye!